this is working good morning I'm using a selfie stick and taking a walk I wanted to share a realization um, about <laughs> about black people actually <laughs> which sounds really weird um, out of context but uh, so here's the thing I did a DNA test I did 23 and me and I was doing it just to um, <clears throat> get my DNA so I can find out if I have some genetic risk factors for diseases or cancer or something you know because I, I didn't do it for ancestry reasons because I thought I pretty much know what I am you know both my parents are Nigerian all my grandparents are Nigerian their parents are Nigerian I'm Nigerian <laughs> Igbo to be specific and I thought I wasn't I'm not doing this to learn about where I came from and who knows maybe maybe like some English colonial came into the bloodstream or something I might find that out so I got my results and I'm 99.97% West African and the other 0.03 is uh, Central Africa so I was like well that's boring but I did check um, on the website, there's a option to allow people who are related to you to message you so that you can connect. And I checked that because I thought, well, you never know. And I was expecting maybe, you know, some other people in Africa to message me and, you know, find out I have a long lost cousin in Mali or something. But that's not what happened. What happened was a lot of Americans were messaging me. More specifically, a lot of black Americans were messaging me. And uh, we would find out that we have like a great, great, great grandparent in common. And we would add each other on Facebook. And like sometimes I would see like the Nigerian features, like, wow. You do got Nigerian in you. Um, and uh, I've only casually thought about how black Americans are, you know, related to us present day Africans. Just casually thought about it, but I never really thought about it in regards to how, um, in regards to how I fit it or what I can learn or contribute from that. <clears throat> So the other day, this lady messages me, and she's so gung ho about it. She's like, um, <laughs> "Here's my phone number. Call me. Let's add each other on Facebook. Oh my God, you look like my daughters." And she's just so gung ho. She's like, "I can't wait to meet your family. I can't wait to learn more about Mbise." Like she's so excited, and me, I'm just like, <laughs> "Calm down, <laughs> calm down," but. You know, she sent me, um, there's a website you can put your 23andMe results into. There's a website you can put your 23andMe results into called GED Match. And it breaks down um, exactly what nations and area that you're from. Because 23andMe only tells you regionally where your DNA is from. So regionally, I'm West African, almost 100%. Um, but I don't have the breakdown, right? So I put my stuff into GED Match. I haven't figured out what the breakdown is, but she showed me her breakdown, and her mom is 50% Nigerian. So to me, I'm like, oh, okay, that means, you know, you're one of your grandparents immigrated and married, you know, some somebody, and... You know, surely your grandparents instilled some Nigerian traditions and maybe your mom knows a little something. And the lady said, no. The lady said, our whole family is American. My grandparents are American and my great grandparents are American. We don't know anything about Africa. We especially don't know anything about Nigeria. And she even showed me pictures of her grandmother, um, who, who's, that's the bloodline, um, that's Nigerian. And uh, she didn't even look Nigerian to me. 
<laughs> she did not look like she looked Cuban or so she looked like um, an Afro South American to me she didn't look any I would never think that this woman is even 50% Nigerian I would think she's like a mix of many many African um, nations and indigenous nations of South America or something so <laughs> We were just thinking like, okay, who's our great, great, great grand parent who was taken into slavery? And the lady asked me if we have any stories about relatives being taken into slavery. And I was like, are you kidding me? No. That's like, we don't talk about that. It's like asking us if we have any stories of relatives who were taken in the Holocaust. No, it's like, why would we talk about that? That has nothing to do with us. What do you mean? <laughs> so that's kind of like how slavery is too. It's like, no, we don't, slavery, we're still in Africa. <sighs> slavery has nothing to do with us, right? That's kind of how it is. We just don't, it's just not something that comes up ever. And it's really interesting because it should because um, I just started to realize that um, the way I view black Americans um, is a view that is of someone who doesn't believe that she's a part of them so the way that I you know typically viewed black American culture was I viewed it as a culture that's not my own I viewed it as something that I didn't contribute to, that I am unaware of, that I don't know about, that I need to learn about, just like any other culture. Just like any other culture that I didn't grow up with. I viewed it as something that, like, I don't know, I would love to learn more. <laughs> but when you really think about it, black culture, um, the way black people speak in different regions, um, Ebonics, Creole, whatever, uh, the food that is a part of Black American culture and the different regions, the way, the, the feeling you get, the music, the, just the culture is the result of Africans being mixed together in the conditions of slavery. Like, that's, that's what would happen. That's what would happen if my parents came here, not by choice, but by force in slavery conditions. The, 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 this, the, the culture that has, we have now in America is the result of a bunch of Africans being mixed together. And I, when I made that realization, like, it, it's like, um, it's as if, you know, like, if you have a high school rivalry, right? Like, I went to Garland High, and our rival was South Garland High. And if they took some kids from Garland High and some kids from South Garland and made us, you know, work in a factory together, we can no longer be rivals. Like, all that tribalism and stuff kind of goes out the window because we have no choice. And... um you know, we speak different languages. <laughs> but what if you're the only person who speaks your language <laughs> and the only people who are willing to be around you and talk to you and help you are people with your skin color? You're gonna, you guys are gonna be forced to learn how to work together, even if there's a language barrier, even if there's a cultural barrier. And of course, how can you continue the culture Right? If you can no longer keep your language because you have to assimilate to all these other Africans, you can't keep your language. Uh, you don't have the means to cook and eat the way that you are used to. So you have to make do with what you know, with what you have. You know, just, I just like imagine, the, especially if you're African, just imagine what that would be like. And then how that would play out in generations. 
bam, this is a result. And what really blows my mind is that this lady's mom is 50% um, Nigerian. She, she has like other African um, stuff in her, but she's half Nigerian and she didn't know it. And that makes me wonder, how did that happen? Was that just happen chance? Or, you know, were, pe were you a slave and you run into another slave who speaks Igbo and you're like, hey, <laughs> Let's stick together <laughs> because we're the same people. Or like, or was it just by chance? Or how did that happen? How did that happen? And how? And it makes me wonder how many black people walk down the street, and I have no idea that we're um, that we have that in common. See, in Nigerian culture, if you know somebody is Nigerian. You greet them in the way that we do in our culture. You hug them, you, 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 you're more tender to them. Like, you just fall into that culture naturally. And it's more warm and it's more loving because you know you can do that because you know that they are what you are and you know that they share what you share and you know that it's not going to be like what are you doing type of thing and i don't do that to people who are not nigerians like to other to strangers i just you know be american <laughs> or like what we do to most strangers we just ignore them we just you know nod your head or just go about your business and you ignore them but when somebody tells me they're nigerian all of a sudden my interest is a little bit more peace like hey what what's up what are you doing over here <laughs> and it just makes me wonder how many how many black people even people who aren't black you know there's there's probably a some white people who are nigerian and they just have no idea how many black people walk down the street and i just treat them like a stranger neither of us knowing that we actually could be related and that we actually once share the same culture not very, not too long ago you know in the grand scheme of humanity it's not too long ago that the black people who were brought here from slavery were with us on the continent and in our countries and in our tribes speaking our language eating our food so um, that just really blew my mind <laughs> it really changed the way that um, I view black culture because um, if I view black culture as something that yeah my people contributed to it because the people who created American black culture are my people <laughs> they just were taken away if I view it that way um, it's no longer like a mystery it's like it's like <sighs> it just brings a bigger sense of unity and I, I wish more people viewed it that way um, because, um, the way I was raised, there's a lot of, um, you know, blacks who aren't black Americans kind of viewing black Americans as something else and they got their own problems to deal with. But if we could actually view black Americans and actually all blacks born of slavery in North America and South America as, yeah, they were actually... <laughs> they're actually with us they are actually african just like us if we remember that what would what would things look like um how would we interact with each other uh, you know it's just i don't know it just really blows my mind i think it's amazing and i'm very curious now i want to know what happened like who is my great 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 grandpa who i have no idea existed who was taken from the rest of our family and brought here and started a whole family tree in America that the rest of us in Nigeria are just totally unaware of. We have big families in Nigeria. And to think that the family tree is probably even bigger and actually very diverse, there's probably a lot of other races in our family tree now it kind of blows my mind. I think everybody should get DNA tested um, so we can all link up 
even if you think you have nothing to learn, I thought I had nothing to learn. Okay, I'm like, I was like, yeah, I'm 99.97% Nigerian, big whoop. This is, this was maybe a little bit of a waste of money, I don't know. But uh, after Black Americans started connecting to me, I realized, oh my God, I haven't even scratched the surface. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that because um, my mind is blown a little bit. And um, I wanted to spread that message and see what people have to say what people have to think of that and uh, you know how we can uh, increase that sentiment because I think I think a lot of a lot of good would come from everyone viewing each other as potential loved ones.